My name is John O'Loughlin, I'm the Sustainability and Technical Manager with Grassland Agro. The topic of today's video is sustainability. Sustainability is a huge challenge facing Irish agriculture. Sustainability has three different pillars. You have the economic sustainability of agriculture, you have the environmental and you have the social. In today's video we're going to look at some of these topics in a little bit more detail. Our second farm is going to be in the Rebel County in County Cork where Sean McMahon is going to meet Bill O'Keefe. Our first port of call is going to be in County Clare on the farm of Noel Birmingham where David Corbett is going to chat in. Hello, I'm David Corbett, Product and Marketing Manager with Grassland Agro. Uh, I'm joined by Noel Birmingham uh, today in Dunbeg. Uh, Noel, thanks for having us here. No Beautiful part of the country, Noel. Um, first of all, you might just uh, cover your farming system and, and what you're at here in Dunbeg. Okay, so I'm farming 124 acres, uh, 81 cows dairy. Um, 30, 13 springers, a bull and 22 calves, which is roughly 99 livestock units. Um, so I'm not overly stocked. Thanks Noel, and, and a uh, heavy part of the country Noel, um, long winters I presume? Yeah, uh, on a good year I suppose you'd get until the middle of November uh, and you'll be probably out the end of March, but on a bad year like last year I was probably in at the end of this month or maybe before it which is in the September, it's a long winter. Yeah. And I was out, obviously, you know, in the March again. Yeah. So, uh, I suppose a long winter period, um, Noel, uh, a lot of slurry, and I suppose you see the, the advantages of um, making the most out of that slurry, uh, applying it on land. Um, and Noel, you've been using actively a slurry enhancer uh, by Grassland Agro. Um, you might just maybe cover maybe a few of the, maybe the, I suppose what you see as the advantage of, of actively in that slurry enhancer on your farm. Yeah, well, I started using Nectiglin and I actually, two different ways of putting it down the slats, I tried it last year, uh, straight down in, straight down the manhole covers, which is three manhole covers in a 10 bay tank, and onto the slats and let the scraper just scrape it in and the cows walking over. Agitating wise, there was very little skin on the slurry, but I found that uh, it was actually very labour saving by just opening three manhole covers and putting down what was needed. Obviously, you, you went with the numbers in the shed and you put out your half a kilo per cow and so on uh, in down the, the manhole covers. It is actually easier than going along the slats. And how do you, how do you manage it, Noel? I suppose if once a week, you just pick a day a week and, and, and you just yeah. stick to that? Yeah, well, I, I actually feed the cows every day. Some people feed every two or three days and all that, but I feed the cows every day. But I had every Saturday. Saturday was my day to usually I'd have a, my son Shane, he'd be home from school and he'd probably. Help get, you know, for, he'd help on that, but yeah. it was every Saturday and it was once a week. Uh, Noel, you were playing your slurry with low emission slurry spread and you're, you're testing your slurry. Uh, obviously, um, organic slurry is a very valuable source of fertilizer on farm in, in replacing the, the chemical bag. Um, I suppose a thousand gallons of slurry has been shown to be equivalent to 25 euro, so uh, very valuable. And you might just maybe talk us through the, the benefits um, of slurry and I suppose using actively to enhance that nutrient availability. Well, I found this year um, the dribble bar went out probably middle of April after I grazed the meadows, uh, gave, it a, gave them all a light grazing and it went straight out with the umbilical cord dribble bar. And I couldn't see any lines when I cut. And in the grazing ground, I actually, gra I actually put out the slurry and grazed probably a week later with the dribble bar. So it was, your, your grazing um, routine is not upset anyway. Yeah, yeah. Noel, uh, you tested your slurry, uh, you saw a higher nitrogen content uh, and a higher phosphorus content in the slurry, um, down to the uh, actively, in, um, I suppose, retaining that ammonia, which is, which is increasing the nitrogen availability, uh, and the calcium, uh, which is increasing the phosphorus availability. But you might just maybe give us your experience and, and what you've seen uh, or, or what impact that had on grass production. Yeah, well, regarding the silage, I suppose after the six, six, six and a half, seven weeks, I had a nice quality, you know, a good quality crop and I could see a, a more dense crop and with regard to grazing, when it was grazed, the bounce back was a lot better I felt because, and I put it down to the slurry and the And the other thing Noel, I suppose we, we talked about uh, ammonia there, ammonia emissions is, is a big problem uh, around air quality uh, and, and hydrogen sulphide as well and I suppose there are two major gases and, and, and toxic gases from the slurry and I suppose there's a massive um, maybe health and safety risk. Um, but you might just comment on that. Um, did you see a reduction maybe uh, uh, in those gases or did you notice that there was a, a reduction in, in maybe that potent smell? Yeah, well, of course, when you, when you start agitating slurry, 
you get the smell straight away, but then you kind of, you don't get the smell because you get used to it. But I felt that even after splitting, the smell didn't stay around for as long. You know, it seemed to, it seemed to go a lot quicker. And with that, Eileen, um, Noel, I suppose you, you, you've, you've uh, a better breakdown of that slurry, so less of a crust uh, farming uh, on, on the slurry. So you might just comment on that, Noel. Yeah. Um, did, did you notice that? And, and even after agitation, uh, like was, was there a quicker agitation? Um, and, and did it stay maybe creamier for longer? Yeah, well, usually now in the tank I'm talking about where we put it down the slats, I have three agitating points at one side and one at the other side. And usually you'd have to go to the other side to get the last of it moving. You could, you could like, I probably had agitated a tin bay tank an hour and an hour and a half quicker and I didn't have to go to the fort manhole cover because it moved all from one side. Very good, yeah. So yeah. the crust was a lot less, yeah. so there was a lot less to move. And, 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 and would you have seen a, a, maybe a creamier slurry for longer? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I would. Yeah. There was, actually, if it was anyone near the top, it was kind of bubbling up. Are you, are you happy with the product and, and will you come continue using it? Um, I will because for three different reasons. The first reason is I'm saving money by not having to agitate for as long and uh, not have much of a crust in the slurry. Number two, um, I can see it in the results in the fields, uh, both in extra bales and extra grass. And number three, I suppose uh, what you're doing is you're, you're reducing the ammonia and that has to be good for the environment. Yeah. Thanks, Noel. Thanks very much to Noel and David for a great insight into Noel's farm. We're just going to talk for a minute about uh, maximising the use of slurry on farm. It's very important to embrace new technologies. For example, less slurry spreading is, is a key way of reducing ammonia emissions and also products like ActiVean, as we've discussed in this video, are key technologies going forward to further increase the sustainability of farms. Now we're going to move on to the farm of Bill and Trace O'Keefe in County Cork. Hi, yeah, my name is Sean McMahon, Product Manager with Grassland Agro. We're here today on the farm of Bill and Therese O'Keefe. Thanks for having us, Bill. I suppose, before we get into it, Bill, give us a brief overview of what's happening on the farm here. Uh, we are a mixed enterprise with dairy and beef. We milk 60 dairy cows here um, and keep all the cows. We rear them to, to beef, go all the way through to usually 18 to 22 months. Like, you know, Perfect. So. Um, and we buy in calves and we buy in yearlings as well. Like, so. I suppose ActiGlean is something that is unique to this farm. You're using it for the past two years. It's a slurry enhancer. How have you found or what is your experience using the product? Well, a couple of things actually. Uh, I found slurry, we have, we have five or six different tanks here. We've had slurry tanks that have been difficult to agitate. But since we've started using it, we found it a lot easier to agitate them. Um, Secondly, we've noticed the smell is not anything like it was. Um, and more importantly, I think uh, the, the experience watching the grass growing and, the, and, the land, and out in the land afterwards. Uh, this spring in particular, like I was um, able to cut back on a lot of the first round of nitrogen in a lot of the place. So, um, I didn't go out in some of my place until maybe the 1st of May this year with the first round of fertilizer and it was basically down to that I think, like, you know, that's, that's from my experience. Of it. Very good. And you have a lot of really interesting things happening on the farm. I know there's a portion of the farm that is multi-species and hasn't got any chemical fertilizer for the past two years. Yeah. I suppose give us a bit of an insight into, into the background of how that came about. Yeah, well we're part of um, the Bride and Blackwater environmental schemes and that was part one, that was one um, part of it that you could do. So we set aside one field, it's four acres. Um, it didn't get nitrogen or fertilizer or chemicals of any sort since August 19, so two years ago. That's been getting slurry two or three times a year for the last two years. And uh, from what we see of it, the slurry has, the, the, the enhanced slurry has made a big difference to it. Yeah, I suppose that's one of the main selling points to the Acticlean is that it, it enhances the efficiency of the nitrogen in the slurry and I know that's important to you to get the most out of your slurry. I suppose another aspect that you touched on earlier is the safety aspect, I suppose, around agitating. Just tell us a wee bit more about that. Well, we have two old old tanks that were awkward. The, the agitation points were bad, were, were in a bad position in them. Like, so, um, I used to have to, every year for 30 years, like, I used to have to go in and take down all the the barriers and agitate from inside and for the first time in 
in its lifetime that yeah. shed, I have been able to agitate it from outside since I've been using active clean. So that looks like it's brilliant. It's working properly. Brilliant. Well, like, you know. and, and I suppose the odours that the slurry creates whenever we are agitating the slurry, have you noticed any difference in your experience? Well, we have noticed, like around here now, when we agitate the tank for the coast tank, we don't the slurry or the smell isn't nearly as what it, as potent as it used to be. So that that's true as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So Bill, how do you play it and when do you play it? Uh, we apply it once a week, um, throw it out onto the slats and we scatter it over all the slats and, and the, co the cows walk it into the, into the slurry. We put out around a half a kilo per cow, so a bag, roughly a bag does the, the, the cow unit and bag a, week, a bag a week for the cows and a bag a week for the cattle. So I suppose Bill, in summary, are you going to stay using ActiGlean into the future? Yeah, I will stay using it because my experience for the last two years has nothing, been nothing but positive. Um, the slurry, the agitation is definitely easier. The smell is better around the place. Um, and totally like the nitrogen, that, that the usable nitrogen like out of the slurry has made things more profitable here. Like I don't use as much nitrogen in the springtime. So brilliant. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, look at it, Bill. Thanks very much. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much again to Bill and Trace O'Keefe in County Cork and also to Noel Birmingham in County Clare. For any further information on ActiGlean, please get in touch with your local grass and agro representative.